Hey everybody! Well, this is going to be a real short video just to show you this cool little prop replica that I managed to find. Now this is an oscillation overthruster. <laughs> it was a cool little prop that was seen in the Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai, the movie from 19... I think it was 1984 that that movie came out. It had Peter Weller in it, best known for Robocop. And it was this main... Uh, every, it was kind of like the MacGuffin in the movie. So all these people were after this, this oscillation overthruster, as they called it. And this is a really cool piece you can see here. And I found this on Etsy. And it's one of the nicer ones that I've seen, as you can see here, all this detail on it. So let me show you a few clips from the show or the movie. So here's where we first get a look at it. It's in this case. It's like a recharging case. Roger, I copy. And then Buckaroo Banzai takes it out. You can kind of see the details on it right there. And then he pushes these buttons and you can see parts of it pop out. So it has like moving sections right in there. Different buttons make the th different parts pop out. It was just a weird looking, cool looking prop that they had for the show. And then he installs it right here. And you'll notice that little thing right there. That looks suspiciously like the Back to the Future uh, flux capacitor. A lot of other movies, like sci-fi movies and stuff, were influenced by this movie. And I think I read somewhere that um, the creators or writers of Back to the Future use that same kind of thing as their flux capacitor idea. Okay, so now let's take a look at this thing. This is a really nicely made piece. I'm guessing this is 3D printed just because of the lines right here. But it looks like it was printed in resin, because if it was uh, the plastic, we'd see lines all over it. It's really nice. I mean, it's it's plastic. It's relatively light. I wish it had a little more weight to it just to make it feel a little more realistic. I don't think there's any metal parts on here except for maybe these little screws that you can see on here. But look at the detail on there. Look at that gold and silver section right there with the rings. These little things here is where you see him push the buttons and the different parts of it pop out. I think maybe he pushes these and these pop out. I can't remember. And then you can see how they're, uh, the clear parts are kind of concave in there. Really nice detail. There's this kind of grill-like thing going on right there. I tried to uh, look closely at the detail, and this matches very nicely. This thing almost looks like a, a little lens. I think that pops out as well. Over here, it almost looks like a, an exhaust or a microphone or something. And then here's the top section. This little part here. I think this is supposed to be a darker shade. I'm not sure. Then you got this other detail. Look at that. It almost looks like some webbing or something in there. <laughs> it's very nicely done. So this device on the movie allowed uh, Buckaroo Banzai and the aliens to go through solid matter and into the eighth dimension. <laughs> the movie is weird. I, the movie's kind of a weird movie. It's kind of a mix of sci-fi and comedy and um, action adventure. And it's just kind of bizarre. It's very 80s, especially with the music and the clothes and everything in it. But uh, I, I haven't seen the movie in a long time. I'm going to have to go back and watch it. I just remember when I saw it, it was kind of like just a bizarre movie. It's, it's got quite the cult following nowadays. And uh, a lot of people are big fans of the movie. I, I like it. It's not, I'm not like a real huge fan of the movie. But um, when I saw this on Etsy, I just thought it was really cool. So I got this from a seller called Custom Project, and it was $99. A uh, little pricey for, for what it is. But considering the really nice paintwork and detail that they did on it, it looks really cool. Just thought it was kind of neat. But I wish it had maybe some sound effects. It makes this cool little uh, bleep bleep noise that in the movie that you always see here constantly. I think I've seen people make the charging case for it with the little panel on the side here with lighted uh, lights and stuff, which is pretty neat. But it would have been cool if it had some kind of sound effects to it or something. But other than that, it's pretty neat. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in getting one of these and if you're a big Buckaroo Banzai fan. But uh, yeah, pretty neat, little, pretty neat little prop. I just thought it was kind of unique and cool. All right, well, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'd very much appreciate it. And until the next time, I'll see you on the next video. So thanks for watching and have a good one.